waiting on love, and it's sure not forgiving. There ain't no love, cause you ain't around. When you were mine, oh, I was feeling so good. Cause you loved me now. I was just calling you at the office. I, I got to talk to you. Come on, stick with me. How are you going to be here today? Depends on when the judge calls my client. See, what, what does it say about me that I let you treat me like this, huh? I'm giving you a big chance to whoop in the world and help me, man. How many of my daughters about to go to surgery, you understand? Come on, baby, talk to me. What do you got? Okay, I got something big for you. This guy's going to be the big money from Inglewood, mm -hmm. but the problem is that he goes up before the judge at, at noon, okay? Mm -hmm. You listening to me? I'm listening. So the client, his mother, his mother's lawyer, comes to my office at 8 a.m. in the morning, and, and I'm oh, he's already got a lawyer. Just listen, listen, it's it's not criminal, it's just real estate, okay? And I made them so crazy about you that now they want to put up their Malibu beach house against a million. The bell's a million? Yeah, yeah. What they book this guy for? Well, I say it's a romantic tip. The cops are saying he beat up the girl really bad. They want to assault with a deadly weapon, throwing the GBIs. Is the DA found yet? Is he dead? See, I take care of my friends. I even take care of you, Bubba. Inglewood by now. You could do it, man. Go through some red lights. Break the speed. I'm listening Is this real? Don't bullshit me. Is this man? Stay? Of course it is. Why did I lie to you? You're going to take care of me, right? Make them forget the beach house and go for my bond. What's the name? Louis. Louis Roulet. R O U L E T, like the like the wheel. <laughs> That's not how you spell a wheel, but got it. Roberto, get thou, senor. You mind checking that list, seeing where my man uh, Harold Casey is on it? Oh, don't go that low. I got a case across town at noon. I got to get to. You mind just bringing him down? It'll only be a second. Reynaldo. Pardon me? My name's Reynaldo, not Roberto. Us bailiffs all look alike, right? Your man white? Yeah, he's white. I got blacks down here right now. All right, listen. Reynaldo, my bad on your name. All right, I took a while to ask guess. I was wrong. All right, but I didn't forget you at Christmas time, did I? Remember that jar of nuts with the prize inside? Happy holidays, your friend Mick. I went through those pretty fast. All right, let's make it two this time. Okay. I'll bring your body down, but you better make it quick. Gracias, Ronaldo. Harold Casey. Yeah, bring him down. Harold, you shouldn't be running from your lawyer. It's bad form. And you know what I want to talk about? In a minute, Judge Powell's going to call us down. He's going to want to know if we're ready for trial. We are? We are not. And you know why not. Rule one, I get paid or I don't work. Uh, don't worry. I got your money. Exactly. You got it. I don't. It's coming. I talked to my boys. Listen, Harold, I looked on the list of people I trust. You're not on it. The law says you can't just quit. The judge won't let you. I looked it up. Pay close attention. Michael Holler for the defense, Your Honor. If I may, I'd like to carry this over. Do you have a reason, Mr. Holler? Having trouble locating a witness, Your Honor. An indispensable witness, a Mr. Green. How much time do you need? That's hard to say. Does the state object? No, Your Honor. 
All right, I'm going to hold this over, pending notification from counsel. That was some bullshit, man. Oh, yeah. I expect to hear from you, Harold. Inglewood, Earl. Keep it on the surface strings. Earl, headphones. This is Holler. And this is your office. Uh, actually, I'm in my office, Miss Rona, on my way to the courthouse in Inglewood. Listen, jot down, remind me to give Ronaldo, the bailiff over in San Fernando, 200 bucks for Christmas, all right? Got it. Hey, did Val reach you about his customer? Yeah, I got something big for you, Mick. Every time. Any other calls? No, just some odds and ends. A few DUIs, I just quoted them the house number. Oh, Larry Larson called from County Lockup. Oh, she got popped again? The usual with a complication, cocaine possession. Her first appearance is right after lunch. Uh, look, tell her I'll try. So I was thinking, boss, you know, uh, you get your license back and whatnot, maybe, uh, you know, I could stay on and like a permanent thing or something, you know? I got my license back three months ago, Earl. <laughs> hey, boss, you want me to do something about that? Because I can. Nah, just keep doing what you're doing. Eddie? I'm hanging. Oh, a little to the left, my man. How about you? Not bad. The ride's a little messy. Yeah, May doesn't come till Tuesday. What can I do for you, big man? Our boy Harold called from the pen and said you're stalling his case till you see some more green. I don't get paid. I don't work. We paid you. Five thousand. That's long gone, Eddie. Now, look, I could tell you that half of it went to an aerial photo expert. He's going to blow the state's case by showing that the DEA violated the airspace over Harold's farm by flying too low. I could also tell you that I got to fly that guy in from New York City, get him to testify, put him up in a hotel and all that kind of stuff, but you don't need to know that. All you need to know is that we had a deal. It's time to refill the tank. What? Another five grand? Ten. He wants to fly business, he wants a first-class hotel. And we want Harold back on the farm. He's our best farmer, if you know what I mean. I don't, and I don't want to. Now look, either pay me or go with a public defender. He won't know much about airspace, but... Ain't you gonna count it? I just did. Keep that rubber on the road, Eddie. Let's roll, Earl. Just like music. So this expert flying in from New York. You want me to pick him up at the airport? There's nobody coming in. The best camera experts in the world are right here in Hollywood. <laughs> nice. You know what? You would have done all right on the streets. Shit. What do you think I am, Earl? Doing my thing constantly with no worries Just to keep merry Just like you To keep me flowing, to keep me going To keep me growing, to keep me to eat from knowing What happens out there is not my concern You wanna die, it's not my Just turn Just like you To do something like jumping up On the highway Doing over 80 Louis Roulet? Yes I'm Michael Holler Mr. Holler I got called you because I need someone. This whole thing is a setup. I made a mistake with that woman, and she was setting me up. down, hear me? Don't say anything about the case until I get you out on bail. I understand your family lawyers in court. Yes, his name's Cecil Dobbs. 
He's here somewhere. I'll find him. Tell me about yourself. How old are you? 32. Ties to the community? Did you grow up here? Yeah, Beverly Hills. I went to USC. I worked for my mother's business. I met your father. He died when I was two. How much did you make last year, Lois? My taxes said 600000 Oh, a lawyer, too. My name's Corliss, two aces. You got a card on you? Listen, buddy, they'll have a lawyer for you out there. Right now, I need you to back away and give us a little space. Can you do that, pal? I'm bagging, boss. There we go. Oh, good. Uh -huh. There we go. There we go. And listen, they've uh, put some heavy charges on you, Lewis. The DA's probably going to ask for no bail. No bail? They say they're going to ask for it. When was the last time you were arrested? Never. So if I checked your, your record... You'd find parking tickets. Are you going to get me out of here? I'm going to try, Lewis. Are you the prosecutor who used to have the Ray case? Haller. Son of a bitch. Rules are rules. I wanted this one. Okay, okay, I'll go quietly. But after today's hearing, if you don't object? Depends. You going for no bail? Oh, that won't change with the prosecutor. Not after what your guy did. If he did? Sure if. They only picked him up in her home with blood all over him. Oh, I love it when you get sarcastic. Can I at least see the arrest report? <laughs> get it from whomever takes over. No favors on this one. How's Haley today? She's good. Good. I'll pick up the usual time on Saturday. Because of the seriousness of the offense, the financial resources of the accused, the state requests no bail. Your Honor, there's no way the state can claim that my client is a flight risk. He's not. With resources like this man has, flight is always a risk. Are there any priors? No, Your Honor. Then I'm going to reduce the risk of flight by ordering him to wear a tracer anklet, and I'm going to set bail at $1 million. Judge, have you seen the photo? Ms. McPherson, bail is set. Thank you, Judge. Nick. Feeling compelled to thank me and speak well of me because this one's going to be the money I'm telling we'll see. you. We'll see. Oh, yes. yeah, this is lawyer right there. She's a dime. See, Nick, don't forget our deal. Possibility, but. Oh, he's here now. I'll talk to you later. Cecil Dobbs. Mr. Haller. Mm -hmm. ah, it's depressing to see the boy caught up in that cattle call. The boy? I've represented the family for a long time. Listen, my advice is let Val fix you up with a bond, and you take the boy home. But we were thinking of putting up property. This is Windsor's beach house. Mother's name's Windsor? Her second husband's name. He's dead now. Assessing the house will take days. And trust me, you don't want the boy in the clink for even that long. So tap Val, take Lewis to your office. I'll meet you there at four. Here, let me give you my business card. Oh, boy. I'll meet you. Yeah, they're already on us. Mrs. Windsor is sensitive about the press, but well, I guess there's much we can do about that. Let me see. Say, bud. Come here. Come here. Saw you filming in there. What's your name? My name's Rob Gillen. They call me Sticks. Sticks. You freelancing on this? Yeah. yeah your client's got profile. Figure I sell it to local news. How much? How much what? How much they pay you for what you shot in there? Uh, that depends. Seven. Seven fifty. Yeah. How about we take it off your hands for eight? No? Too short? All right, let's make it a grand. Deal? That's yours. So, I can expense this, right? Of course. Absolutely. Thank you, Sticks. Thank you. You know, Mr. Haller, you weren't my choice. Well, I bet I wasn't. A firm like yours must have some heavy hitters on call. We do, but Lewis insisted. Frankly, I've never heard of you. Uh, maybe I should have. Did you say that was Lewis's choice? Yes. He'd write about a case you had. I'll need a hundred grand up front. I'm working on five fifty an hour. Another hundred if we go to trial. More if we go past a week. Appeals, we start over. Don't sweat the technique. Take it, none of that's a problem? No. See you at four.
Where we heading now? We're gonna go meet Stick, Jim. Is that the same spot? Mm -hmm. I made my debut in 86 with a melody in front of this mix. And I would stay on target and refuse to miss. And I still make this beat. Parties, clubs, and cars, and jeeps. My underground sound box. There he is. There we go. Eight for me, two for you. Thank you, Sticks. Anytime. Mm -hmm. Hey, my tape. Something new. Hooked on possession of coke, plus the usual. I know it was done. This guy paid me with it, and I had it on me when I went to the next. And the next was a cop. Look, can't you get me into one of those rehab places that get you straight? Look, we did a pre on rehab last time. The DA's never gonna go for it again. You may have to do some jail time for it. I can't. I can't. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Hey, they have programs in jail, too. Now, look, you had a long run. Maybe after this, you can get out of life. Yeah. Housewife of the year, that's me. And maybe I can turn some tricks for the PTA. It's <laughs> not <laughs> funny. I'd like to see that. <laughs> All right. All right, give it to me. All right, I, uh, I did a guy at the Traveler. The guy who paid you with coke instead of money. Yeah, and he had a shitload of coke in there, I saw. Do you know him? No, no, no. He reached me through my website. He was, uh... No, he was Mexican or something. Did you screen him? No, I screened him all. Okay, with what? Yeah, his driver's license? No, 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 his passport. His, uh... Yeah, his, his name, uh... His name's Hector. Hector what? Um, What's his last name? Think, Gloria, oh, yeah, think. Hector Arande Moya is what you get if you run a trace. He's a fugitive from a grand jury down in Florida. The DA wants him for drug trafficking. And Leslie, they want him a lot. And your girl's looking to trade. She gave you his hotel and room number. She'll also have to testify on the coke? No. Location only. Your guys take it from there. My investigator says Hector hasn't checked out yet. And in exchange? You drop all charges. All she does is a pre-trial rehab. The facility at USC Med would be nice. Or I can take it to the feds. They'll cut this deal in a minute. All right, you fucking asshole. After you. You'd go ahead first. I could have shot if I was going to do it. Why? Style points. You're so vain. Nobody cares if you kill yourself. That'd look cool. I think that the last thing to go through your mind would be your asshole. Yeah. Mr. Holler. Lewis. Good morning. Thank you. It's just a start. This is Frank Levin. Frank's my investigator. Lewis Rulay. Good to meet you. We're in here. Got, uh, Trace Franklin. A present from your friend, Mr. Valenzuela, by order of the court. As if I'd go anyplace before this thing's over. Gentlemen, welcome. Mr. Dobbs. Mr. Haller. Good to see you. This is Frank Levin. Mr. Levin is my investigator. His fees are in addition to mine. Of course. Gentlemen, this is Mary Windsor. She's Lewis's mother. Mr. Haller. Mrs. Windsor, pleasure to meet you. How do you do? I'm fine, thank you. This is Frank Levin, my investigator. How do you do? The charges against my son are ridiculous. But so is that woman. Here's a check for you, Mr. Haller. This is going to have to come from your son, Mrs. Windsor. You can give him the money, he can write the check, but it must come from him. He's my client, and it has to be clear from the start. I can't thank you enough for being here. Sincerely, it's good to know that you're going to be there when we need you. But not now, is that it? No, ma'am. 
The DA can make you testify about what you hear. Attorney privilege does not cover you. I'll see you at home. She's not used to being told what to do. I can believe that. So how fast can I go to trial? I want this behind me. Are you sure? You can stretch it out, enjoy your freedom. Most clients choose to Guilty do. clients, you mean. Okay, then I insist on going to trial right away. Or perhaps it never goes to trial at all. My firm can bring uh, considerable influence to bear. Oh, don't kid yourself, Cecil. There's no way the state's dropping these charges. As a matter of fact, they've already upped them to improve the negotiating position. There uh, won't be any negotiating. No plea bargain, no nothing. I'm not going to jail for something I didn't do. I'm innocent. And if there is a trial, I want to take the stand and tell the jury that I'm innocent. Now, if that's a problem, we can park company right now. Time to tell me what happened. I was having a drink at the association. The association? That's the bar on 6th Street, the one with a lot of young women? Right, it's good for pickups. What's the file say about the girlfriend? Uh, Regina Campo, known as Reggie, 26 years old, part-time actress, part-time office temp. And hoping to retire after suing my client. Did you know her before last night, Louis? No. I'd seen her around, but never spoke. She was always with another guy. Last night, too. I got it that she wasn't too into her date. She brushed by me on her way to the bathroom. And she basically just laid her address on me, on a napkin. She said she could get rid of it by 10. Do you still have it, what she wrote down? No, I didn't keep the napkin. Hey, check that file, see if the police report has any of this. Frank here's already worked us a little miracle. He uh, happened to score us a copy of the discovery file, everything the DA has. They would have had to turn it over eventually, but it would have taken a while. No, nope, they don't have the other guy. They don't even have the bar. So what all they've got is Lewis shows up at her apartment and she gets beaten? That is such bullshit. Just keep telling me your story. Okay. I got there early and uh, waited until he came out. So my back was to her, and um, that was it. What was it? She hit me with something. I went down, and everything got black fast. Show me where she hit you. Like, right here. It still hurts. And that blow knocked you out. Next, I know two fags are sitting on me, holding me down. Police report has it. Homosexual couple from across the hall. Like I said, faggots. I stand corrected. Faggot couple from across the hall. Go on, Lewis. I was still foggy when the cops came. And that's when I saw she'd set me up. Set it up how? She put blood on my hand, my left hand. He said he was going to rape me and kill me. And then he said he was going to come back here and rape me again. You said she left the door open a crack. Did you happen to see her face? Not all of it. Mainly her eye. Wait, her, her left eye? Yes. All right, so she already had the injuries to the right side of her face. She opens the door, conceals that from him, and as he enters, she 
she clobbers him. So our case is what? She beat herself up? If she already had the injuries, she either did just that or she had her boyfriend do it. Yes, she must have. I mean, she saw Lewis's Maserati, his watch. It's known the family has money. I'll wager she'll be filing in civil court the moment this is over. Let's hear the police report. How's Reggie Dillon? Okay, uh, according to the victim, she was at home alone when the suspect presented himself at the door as someone she knew. Upon letting him in, she was immediately struck. Does it say he knocked her down? Yes, there was a struggle that continued from the hallway to the stairs. Uh, he held the victim by the neck and forced her down. The suspect maintained a position behind her, holding a knife against the left side of her throat. That's not my knife. Are his prints on here, Frank? Well, it stands to reason if she put blood on his hand, she put his prints on the knife. I just told you, though, that isn't my knife. Keep talking, Frank. As Miss Campo ran for the stairs, they fought, and she kicked the intruder backwards. Realizing her attacker had her cornered, she fought free and seized a nearby bottle of vodka. And that's when she clonked him. That's her story. Those are all lies. Look, if everything she's saying is a lie, then this is going to be the easiest case ever. But you swear it's all lies? All of it. Are you sure there's not anything that you're not telling me? Nothing. Why did he choose you, Mick? Rich kid, spoiled as shit, never heard the word no. Yeah, but the damn thing is, the way he tells the story, Frank, it's just quick enough to be true. Oh, Mick, this kid feels wrong to me. But I'll check out his story. All of it. You know the moves. Start the association bar. And then Miss Regina Campo. The way he said she came on to him. Sounds like a pro. Yeah, run it down. Also, Mr. Uh, Mr. Mustang. All right, now, I still don't get how that works. What, he and Reggie got into some rough trade and then he punched her? Unless he was in on it. Meaning he hit her afterwards? Dang, no. Jesus, Mick, are you starting to think Lewis is innocent? You just mind? Besides, you know what my father always said about an innocent client? No, I've never heard this. I... So there's no client as scary as an innocent man? That's right. Because if you screw up and he goes to prison, you're never going to be able to live with yourself. Mm -hmm. So there's only one verdict you can put on the board, baby, and that's an NG. What do you say, man? Frank, if you let a man drive home in this condition, I think that I can charge you both. <laughs> I'll take him to his house. How are you gonna get home? Uh, Earl can pick up the car for me in the morning. I came with friends. Ooh. <laughs> Later. Thank you, baby. Oh. No, no, I got this. I insist. Couldn't wait. Want to watch a movie? We caught a break. The owner had a camera system set up last month. I had the security tape transferred to a disc so I could manipulate. I know this place. All right, and there's our boy, Lewis. And I would like you to meet Miss Reggie Campo. And there's Mr. Mustang. You sure? I wouldn't have popped a grand for the tape if I wasn't sure. Now. Watch. Reggie gets up, goes to the ladies' room. Mr. Mustang chats up the bartender. So that's where he goes. That gives Reggie her chance. Watch her. 
Wait, uh, that's not how he said it went down. He said she gave him her address on a napkin. Okay, hold on, Haas. Hold on. Let her go pee. Okay, here she comes. There's uh, your napkin. Uh, uh, uh. Now, watch this. She and Mr. Mustang decide it's time to split. Look, look, look at his hand. Look at his watch. It's on his left hand. That's not good. Facial blows are from the left. This guy's right-handed. Babe, you haven't been drinking enough. You said you knew the association. You would realize this shot is into the mirror behind the bar. Or oh, that's where the God. owner set up the camera so he could watch his register. So everything's backwards. And Mr. Mustang punches with his left. Yeah, you proud of yourself, Frank? I really, really am. But not just about this. That feeling I had about Reggie, that she mm. was selling it, I did a little bit of research. She's a hooker. You tell me the cops don't have this? How can they? There's only one, and it's not a copy. I'll make a copy. Well, you're gonna give it to the prosecutor? Yeah, a new guy named Ted Minton. He's gonna hand over the discovery file. Oh, poor bunny. He's not gonna know what hit him. Mm -mm. How long do you think your man's back? Mm, probably just a few more minutes. Mr. Howler? There it is. Sorry to keep you waiting. The discovery file. <sighs> I hope this will be worth your while. Kind of light. Yes, why we can play this? What else do you have? What else do I have? Come on, Minton, let's cut the bullshit here, all right? Look, not only is your so-called victim a prostitute, but I have her soliciting my guy on video. You think a jury's going to see this and think he had to rape her at knife point just to have sex with her? No. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Yes, and it doesn't change the offer I'm prepared to make. Offer? You're going forward. We will drop down to assault with a deadly attempted sexual battery. Guidelines put that at seven years. Maybe he'll do four. What am I missing here? Hey, Frank. What's up? Look here. These files look identical to me. Right? There's something we're missing. We're not seeing it. Well, here's a discovery file I got from my clerk in the DA's office. This is the one I got from Minton. There's Reggie Campo. Reggie. It's the door chain. Mm-hmm. No, it's the same. It's. Uh... Whoa, 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 whoa. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Some bitch. I switched out the files. This is a different knife. Mm -hmm. I've been taking care of this guy for 10 years, and he set me up. Well, he's off the Christmas list. Mm -hmm. He's on the shit list. Shoddy. Oh, thank you, Shot. Thank you very much. Looks a little short to me. Finish up. I'll see you later. Closed out anyway. All right. Well, so what happened? You see me? Oh, I saw him. We need to talk. You lied to me, Lewis. You didn't tell me you were paying Reggie Campo for sex. Now don't go looking surprised. Could have easily told me that in Cecil's office. I don't want my mother to find out. Cecil tells her everything. Oh, so you decide to keep from me the one thing that could have made this trial go away? Huh? Is that what Mitten said? No more trial? I said could have. If that had been the only lie you told me. What do you mean? Recognize that? It's a picture of your knife. The one you had on you when you went to Reggie's. The one the cops have. That's why Ted Mitten didn't fold his tents and shit. Why should he when he's got a knife with her blood and your initial? That wasn't the knife that was in the file. That's right. It wasn't. The file Frank got us is what we call a loaded deck. The cops used it to set us up to make us think they didn't have anything, when in fact, they've got enough to put your golf playing ass away for 20 years, big boy. Why'd you lie about the knife? Chris, why would you lie about anything? Everything you tell me is confidential, attorney, client, privilege. All right, I didn't lie. I said the knife in the picture wasn't mine. I said it twice, and nobody listened. <laughs> 
What are you now, the goddamn lawyer? You said it wasn't yours. What you should have said was, I had a knife, Mick, but this isn't it. You brought a weapon to a meeting with the prostitute. Now you tell me, how the hell am I supposed to make that look like she set you up? I did not do this. It's custom made, serrated tip. Got your initials engraved on the handle. I always carry it. Mm. We show homes to people we don't know. This one time, my mother was showing a place. It was in Bel Air, so she thought it was okay to go alone. But he was there. Who was there? The man who raped her. When, when she didn't come back, I went to the house and found her. And that's, that's when she stopped showing property. And I started carrying a knife. Always. Your mother will have to testify. No, no, no. I don't want that. I don't give a damn what you want. You want to stay out of the shit house, you do exactly as I tell you from now on. You got it? Who's come calling? Detective Carlin? Hey, you been to San Quentin lately? See our boy Martinez? I asked you something. How's Martinez doing up there? He make the pucker up and kiss me, team? I haven't talked to him. Right. I guess once they plead guilty and go down, you don't have much use for him, huh? But, uh, he's away forever, right? He got life, yeah. So he'll be out in 15. Too bad. Because his victim, Donna Renteria, she's dead forever. How does someone like you sleep at night with all the scum you represent? Two unsolved murders. Trick up the evidence, make it look like my guy did it. But you got your boy off. And he's out walking around now, right? Well, fuck you, Hall. No, fuck the DA. And the cops who helped him. It's called the justice system, Carlin. It's not the way it's supposed to work. Before. <laughs> hmm. Tell me about your, uh, your buddy Minton. <sighs> this is my buddy. Oh, he sandbagged me with good. Mm-hmm. With that guy Corliss, right? Yeah. How'd you know? We'll take the guy's head off on the stand. Hope so. So what, uh, Ted talked to you about Corliss? No, no, I sent him to Ted. He thought I was on the case because I made first appearance. But I should not be telling you any of this. No, I knew. 
Look, I knew a guy like Minton wasn't above putting a jailhouse snitch on the stand. I mean, that's what he is, right? Can we just have a friendly beer and not talk about work, please? Just get a table out back, grab some to eat. Mm. We can talk about our daughter. You didn't know 3D movies could be so much mm, fun. Mm -mm. Well, I was watching her. Mm -hmm. mm. Join the club. Right. Yeah. Hey, you didn't know Minton had Corliss till I blabbed, did you? I knew he was hot himself. <laughs> Screw it, I'm not going to defend Minton. He fights too dirty. Mm, this from Maggie McPhears? Hey. I know there are lines I won't cross. Don't you? I'll leave, come back in an hour, we'll go together to pick up your car, then I can take Ailey to school. Just like that, you're going to start taking her to school? Do you remember what we talked about last night? Yes, I remember what we talked about last night, but I thought you were just trying to get my head into your case or get me in bed. I came with you, can I? No, you can't. Not when you're being a defense lawyer. Not when I'm trying to keep dirt bags off the street and you keep putting them there. I've heard it all before, man. Mm-hmm. Man, they had my picture everywhere, man. I, they were gonna bring me in anyway, so yeah, I'm like. But, but you told Curlin you were in her apartment, right? He didn't have that. No, no, that. He didn't have it. He didn't even have any prints. No, but that shit, I said, it's true. I, I, I saw it last one I rose up. 
And she said, if I paid her more money than the other guy, then we can go to her place. Nobody saw any other guy. There was another guy. There, it was, a, it was a, a white guy. He was right by the bar. The coroner says her vagina was brutalized. Are you my lawyer, man? I'm trying to be. Look, when I left, that chick was fine. Look, I slept with her. Okay, I, I did, but I didn't hurt her, I promise. Three people saw you throw a knife into the L.A. River. Huh? Help me. I had that knife in my car. I knew they were going to find it, man. They were going to pin it on me. I know. Look, if all you did was have sex with her, then why didn't you leave any prints, huh? I, I mean, the place was wiped down, clean. I didn't wipe it down, though. You left semen on the towel? You remember that? Did you, did you forget the towel? No, I didn't forget anything, man. I just used that towel. I paid her, and I left. A defense they ain't gonna make. Dude, don't say that! It won't make, man. It's not a chance in hell with that defense. You know what they're asking for? What? They want the death penalty, man. They want to take your ass down. They want to burn you, man. Listen, I can see to it that that never happened. But not if you don't plead. Oh, you want me to say I did it? There's a deal to be made here, and I can do it. I can get you life. Life means you're paroled in 15. It keeps the needle out of your arm, man. It's our only play, man. I'm innocent, bro. Do you know what that means? That means I didn't do it. It's the best I can get for you, man. I don't want to go to jail for something I didn't do, man. You know what that's going to do to my mom, bro? I ain't going to jail for something I didn't do, bro. Come on. Now, you know what? You didn't ask me a lot of questions back then. You never asked me, did you kill her? Nah. Please. I'm trying to make this right. I need you to tell me what happened at the Lozona Rosa bar that night one more time. Please. She was working. I liked her, you know, right off the bat, I liked her. I knew she was the one, you know. You know, she caught my eye. They were going around in a little circle, you know. She was acting all cute and shit. Listen, I, I don't know how this works. I'm, you know, I don't know. It's fun, and you want to dance? Yeah, I want to dance. I can give you a private dance. I picked her. I asked her to dance for me. And we started talking. You know, she said I could take her home. So how much for me to come over? Well, usually I charge a thousand. But for you, three hundred, because you're sexy. She was good, man. Yeah, so I did. But I ain't kill her. You said there was another guy, right? Yeah. She was talking to him. And then she came back to me. Okay. Some pictures, right? some mug shots. I need you to see if you can ID that other guy at the club. If you recognize him. No. How about this guy? Jesus. You recognize him? Uh-uh. Okay, take your time. Yeah, yeah, how about this guy? Is 
just the other guy. There's this guy in the club that night. Car! Hey, so Hey, you know what? The other guy. Get played, bro. Why you bother me with this boy? Is, is, is that the guy? What does it matter, man? Is I'm that the right guy? Here. Right where you want it, bro. This you is know the what? Guy. I don't trust you, dog. I'm trying to make it right. I never will. Interview's over. Okay, yeah, that's my boy. That's my boy. Get, get out of here. You okay? Where you been today? I've been trying to call you. I've been to San Quentin. See Jesus Martinez. About what happened after he left Donna in Serena's apartment. After he killed her. He didn't kill her, Frank. He went there, had sex, flushed the condom down the toilet, wiped his prick on a pink down, and he went home, but he didn't kill her. Come on, Nick. We've been through this a hundred times. The real killer. She lets him in. Maybe he, uh, he fakes like he's Martinez and he forgot something. Maybe he had an appointment. <laughs> like the guy in the bar. Right. He comes in. He punches her. See, I'm softening her up. But she's not going to be lucky like Reggie Campo is, because this is how the bitch pulls a knife. Takes her and bends her over the table, puts on a condom, and rapes her. And when he's done, Stabs over and over 52 times while he works something out in his sick goddamn mind. I have to tell you what kind of knife it was? A short blade folding knife? Just like relays. Okay, okay, let's, let's take it a little bit easier on that, okay? Why, Frank? What in the listen? Listen, I got a baseball bat if you really want to beat oh, yourself I'll up. beat myself up. Somebody told me he didn't do it. All right? There was the DNA, and there was the knife that he ditched, but there was no way I was going to listen to him. There was no way I would believe that he didn't do it. I couldn't believe him. I couldn't believe that I actually was representing an innocent man. Just like my father warned me about. Mick, come on. They all say they didn't do it. You know that. Yeah, so what do I do? I get him to plead. I get his sister to beg him to plead, because he's got no case. I get him the best deal I can. You know what? I feel pretty goddamn good about it. Because, hey, I got the son of a bitch off death row. I got him 15 years instead of the needle. Yeah. I showed him Roulet's picture. Okay. Roulet is using Martinez as the other guy in the bar. Like Mr. Mustang in this case? So he's not just getting off on killing women. It's seeing somebody else do the time. That's his M.O. What did Martinez say? Enough. Enough for me to know. I, I, gotta, I gotta find another What way. you gotta do is find a way to put Roulet in Renteria's apartment the night she was murdered. That's what you Find a way to make it right, Frank. You gotta make it right. Well, you can't bring it to the cops because he's your client. And you can't take it to the DA because you'd lose your license. Of course. Any evidence we found would be inadmissible. Attorney client privilege it would ruin any case they could ever have against it. That's why that son of a bitch hired me. He's got me in a trick bag. You got one client in jail for what your other client did. What you gonna do, Mick? Hey, Mick, you okay, buddy? Frank, Frank, listen to me, I got it. What? Oh, you know how Roulet said all we'd find on him was parking tickets, right? Right. Listen, I don't buy that anymore. Now, there were others, other girls he did, Arinteri and Campo. I mean, they look too much alike. It's like they're sisters, and the injuries to the right side of their face is too similar, man. This guy's got a type, Frank. There's other cases out there, and you can find them, all right? You gotta do this, I can't. I'm his lawyer. Okay, okay, I'm on it. All right, I gotta take this. 
Maggie, hey. Hey, did you get my voicemail? Uh, I've been up to San Quentin, see an old client. How's Haley? She's good. You know she has soccer this weekend. Saturday, right? Mm-hmm. I look forward to it. Great. Talk later. I got in. I'm in real estate, so if I want to get into a friend's house. No, we're not friends. You're my client. I'm your lawyer. My lawyer. See, that's exactly what I wanted to remind you of. I'm about to go on trial, and yet I couldn't reach you. Now I find out where you were all day. Heard you tell Maggie. You yeah, shit. You went to see Jesus Martinez, and I know what you talked about. Donna Renteria. You're right, Mick. I killed her. There. No reason I shouldn't tell my own lawyer, since it's all confidential. Attorney, client, privilege. Isn't that what you told me? Time for you to go, Lewis. All right. That's a cute picture of your daughter, Haley. She's very pretty. So she's got uh, soccer practice tomorrow, right? Yeah. Okay. Don't what? You think you're the first client to ever threaten me or my family? All I said was she's pretty. Are you scared, Lewis? That's where you are right now. You're in a very dangerous place. case is about. What this case is all about is a predator. On that night of March 6th, Louis Roulet was out stalking his prey. Now, you are going to hear from the victim herself about her lifestyle, one that we would not condone. But remember, anyone, anyone can be the victim of a violent crime. This case is clear. It's straightforward. A man attacked a woman in her home in order to rape and kill her. And it is only by the grace of God that she's here to tell her story. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Michael Holler, and I'm representing Louis Roulet. Now, Mr. Minton doesn't want to use the word prostitute for the woman who is supposed to be Louis's victim. He needn't worry. Because this case isn't about how she makes her money. This case is about her actions. How she saw a young man with signs of wealth as a ticket out of the life she was in and chose to target him. Now, what she didn't count on was you. How you'd put two and two together and let your common sense tell you who the real predator is in this case. Thank you for your time. Court will adjourn until Monday when the state will call its first witness. Go, here go. Turn, 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 turn. Left foot, left foot. Go, hey, hey. Stay on it. Good night. Hey, Mick. Come on, guys. Hey, Maggie. What are you doing here? 
I'm going to take Haley home. You've got some place to be. What are you talking about? What, what happened? Closed crime center. He's Nick Holler. I'm yeah. Sobel. Sobel. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, listen, slow down a second. Oh, slow down. down. What happened? Somebody shot him in the chest and the head, and then they shot the dog, too. His body's right in front of the door. Great. That's just what we need. I've been here before. You can tell us if anything is unusual. Anything weird? Like, throughout this whole house, why is it that all I see are pictures of this guy? My partner's asking if Frank Levin was gay. Is that irrelevant? Yeah, it's, it's all relevant. He's an ex-cop. Crimes against persons in Chicago. Is that butch enough for you, Langford? I don't see anything that can help here. All right. Hey, Holler. Uh, I don't need to tell you to stick around town where I can find you, do I? My suspect? Yeah. When do you retire, Langford? When do I retire? Yeah. 18 months. Why? I want to make sure I show up the next morning so I can kick your ass. Terrible. Frank Levin was murdered. Oh, man, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. Roulet did it. Roulet? I thought you and Frank were defending him. Why would he take Frank out? That makes no sense. No, I, I figured you know exactly how it went down. How do I know about it? What are you talking about? Because you lied to me. You didn't send me the Roulet case. He asked for me. Okay, okay, that's true, man. That's true, but you know what I said? Haller's your man. Go for Haller. I did that for you. You lied to me once. So what do you think I'm going to lie about this? Give me a little respect, give me a little credit. I'm not going to lie about this kind of the shit. The police tracked the tracer that you put on relay. Said he was nowhere near Frank's house. So maybe it wasn't him, Nick. No. So maybe it wasn't him. Nobody can beat the tracer, huh? It was him. Roulet killed Frank. Well, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't like, I don't like the way you're following me. I don't like the way you corner me, man. I don't like the way you're talking to me, OK? Roulet killed Frank. Well, what do you think? You think I cut the kid loose so you can murder Frank? Crazy. 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 Frank killed Frank. Oh, Nick, I'm sorry about Frank, but I didn't do it, man. You're the only one that could have taken it off him. Yeah. Uh, I'm 
not talking about you. guilty or not guilty. Just, just innocent. You know what I'm afraid of now? Evil. Pure evil. Sorry to interrupt your day with Haley, but you asked me to do some digging on Roulette? Well, I might have found Martinez's ticket. Make his ticket out of Quentin. Uh, uh, someone's at the door. Look, you go and you have a good time with Haley. And I'll fill you in when I know it's for sure. I gotta go. It turns out Frank called me just before he was killed. The uh, message came in at 11.07. He said he found something, something that could help an old client of ours get out of prison. Okay, who is the client? Jesus Martinez. He's in San Quentin. Okay, did he say anything else? Yeah, he made a joke. Uh, said, said something about finding Martinez's ticket out of the queue. All right, and then someone came to the door, and that's when he hung up. All right, listen, so whoever came to the door... That's who killed him. Okay, you get me a copy of the tape. Okay, I'll get it to you right away. Uh, how's it going, McKay? Is she getting somewhere? Yeah, uh, we did catch a break. We found a bullet casing in the room from the 22. It's good. Our, our Frank Levin owned a 22. You'll find it registered to him. No, we did. Yeah, but uh, it wasn't a woodsman. A what? A Colt woodsman. It was an old antique job. That's the gun that killed him. Frank Levin. Got any idea who did it? Yeah, I'm pretty certain I do. Hmm. Mr. Talbot, you were with Miss Kemp on the night of March 6th. Yep. We went on a date to the association. Then I took her back to her place for another date. And did you have sexual relations? About 400 bucks worth. And she earned every single cent. What time did you leave her apartment? Oh, I don't know. Uh, about five minutes before 10. Did she say whether she had another appointment? Oh, no, no. She acted like she was done for the night. Objection, Your Honor. I don't think Mr. Talbot's qualified to interpret Miss Campos' thinking or plans. I mean, she acted satisfied. Sustained. Go on, Mr. Minton. When you left, Mr. Talbot, what condition was she in? Was she hurt? No. She was fine. She did not look like this. Man, what kind of sick bastard is something like that? Answer the question. No. No, we made pleasurable and consensual love. I mean, that's what life's all about, right? Then I paid her. Mr. Talbot, are you right-handed or left-handed? Left. Left. Yeah. Isn't it true that before you left Miss Campo's apartment, she asked you to repeatedly strike her in the face with your left fist? Your Honor, Mr. Haller is just muddying the waters with outrageous statements. Part of the defense theory, Your Honor. The witness can answer. I'm sorry. Can you repeat the question? This is by your hand, isn't it, Mr. Talbot? 
Admit it. This whole thing is a setup by you and Miss Campo framing my client, Louis Roulet, isn't it? I never hit her or any other woman. You understand? Do you know a prostitute named Shaquille Barton? <laughs> Work name is uh, Shaquilla Shackles? Yeah, yeah, I seen her once. And if I brought her in here and she said, yes, Mr. Talbot, he, he did strike me with his left fist in my face, she'd be lying. I tried Shaquille once, but I'm not into that rough stuff. I'm a missionary man. With a strong left. Am I on trial here? Not yet. Good afternoon, detectives. What can I do for you? This one's bullshit. Well, it's good enough to search your house. It would have been smart if you had told me that you had a woodsman. There's one registered to you. Let's go for a drive. All right, let's bag the box. Can't do ballistics on a box, can you? Modern technology. So, uh, why didn't you report this stolen? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I should have. You think? Still and all, we're gonna have a look around the place, huh? I go crazy. You got the warrant. All right. Let's start with the couch. Sir, send up. Hey, you know, we got a history on the piece. Turns out it once belonged to Mickey Cohen, the gangster from the 40s. I know. My father, he uh, represented him. Got him off for using it in self-defense, so Mickey made him a present of it. It's a nice present. Pearl handle, collector's piece. How sweet. You know, that, uh, that Mickey Cohen shooting is it's pretty famous. It turns out that the county still has the evidence in storage. The bullet. You can match the casings from a slug that's 50 years old? Well, I mean, it would be easier with the gun, but yeah. How long will ballistics take? Hey, Mick. I got something for you. You asked me to run that witness's name. Is that Corliss? Dwayne Jeffrey Corliss. Right. He's this low-life type. Not much came up, but sometimes he goes by DJ. No punctuation. And when you run it that way... Tell me. Well, he's played the courtroom snitch a lot. Here and in Arizona. Both times it got him early release. All right. This could be good. All I gotta do is find him. They put him in pretrial rehab at USC. I just got lucky. You all right? All right, let's see. I'm actually not even here about you today. I need you to do something for me. Keep moving. Let's go, let's go. Stay on the wall all the way down. That's the bus, boys. Let's go. Shut up. Stay on the line. Corliss, right? Bring him down. I don't know if I'm going to say this real quiet. Trusty, away from the line. You don't know me. So, gentlemen, keep I told him the DA. He gave me a way to get us both out. Step through. So, Howard, I hear you had interesting visitors last night. Worry about yourself, Ted. You're dying the death of a thousand razors up there, and you don't even know it. One last witness, Your Honor. The prosecution calls Regina Campo. It's true that I uh, lied to the police. I knew the defendant when he came to the door. Miss Campo, why did you lie? Because I was scared. 
I didn't think the police would believe me, and I wanted to make sure they arrested him. Because he's an animal. And do you regret your decision, ma'am? Yes. If it helps him get free and do this to somebody else. Objection. It's prejudicial, Your Honor. Sustained. I have no further questions for Ms. Campo. Your witness, Mr. Allen. Ms. Campo, have you engaged an attorney to sue Louis Roulet for the events that happened on the eve of March the 6th? No, I haven't. Have you talked to an attorney? I haven't hired anyone. Uh, or... Have you talked to one about a possible lawsuit? It was nothing more than talk. Did you ask if you could sue him for damages? I thought we could say the lawyer was his private. If you wish, you can tell the jurors. I think I'd like to keep it private. Okay. Let's talk about the night at the association bar. Had you ever seen Louis Roulet before that night? Yes, there and other places. Ever noticed that he wore a Rolex watch? <laughs> no. Or that he drove one of two vehicles, a Maserati and a Range Rover? I never saw him driving. And what made you approach him? I saw him leave with girls um, who do what I do. With prostitutes? And go to a hotel or one of their apartments, right? I don't know where. Well, how do you know they left? Maybe they just went out for a smoke. Because I saw them get in his car and drive away. No, no, wait a minute. You just testified that you had never seen Mr. Roulet drive. Now you are saying that, yes, you did see Mr. Roulet get in his car and leave with a prostitute like yourself. Well, which one is it? I saw him get in his car, but I didn't know what kind of car it was. Do you know the difference between a Maserati and a Range Rover? One is small and one is big, I guess. Okay. The other women that left with Lewis, when you saw them again, did any of them have injuries or were any of them beaten? I don't know. I didn't ask. But girls in your profession, you do talk to each other about customers, right? You warn each other if, if someone's a freak or something. Yeah, usually. And did any of them ever warn you or have one bad thing to say about Louis Roulet? No. No one. So you believed you'd be safe? I thought he was a known quantity and I needed the money, so... So you thought he could solve your problems with money? No! No? Isn't that why you're sitting here? Because you zeroed in on him? No! I mean, yes, but it, it wasn't like that. I... He attacked me, I swear! And, all right, let's pause that right there. Just to confirm, this is you, right, Miss Campbell? Yes. What was on the napkin? My name and address. And your price? Yes, $400. It's a hard line of work. Yes, and dangerous. In fact, haven't you told your friends many times that you were looking for a way out? I'm not proud of what I do. I know. And isn't it true? Nothing would be easier to understand. But you saw Louis Roulet and his money as that way out. No, that's not what this is about. I... Are you not listening to me? No further questions, Your Honor. Mr. Minton, do you have another witness for us? It looks worried. Not worried enough. No. State rest, Your Honor. Then the defense will call its first witness after lunch. Yes, I recognize this knife. It's the one that my son has carried with him for protection for the last four years, almost exactly. Why would he need protection? Realtors alone in the house are sometimes robbed or hurt, even raped or murdered. But has Lewis ever been the subject of such a crime? Oh, no. But he knew someone who was raped and robbed by a man. Lewis found her. It was terrible. So the first thing he did afterwards was get himself a, a knife to carry with him at all times. Thank you, Mrs. Windsor. I have no further questions, John. Your witness, Mr. Minton. Miss Windsor, 
seem pretty exact about when it was your son started carrying around this this weapon five inch folding knife yes i am the incident took place on june the 9th 2007. was it in the newspapers no do you somehow remember it because the police came to talk to lewis no there was no police investigation then how do you remember the exact date were you given it before your testimony here today? I remember the date because I'll never forget the day I was attacked. And Lewis won't forget it either. He found me in the house tied up. My clothes were ripped. It was traumatic for him. Mr. Mint, is there anything else you wish to add? No, Your Honor. So, I've been thinking about those thousand razors. We've had an offer. We can spend six months in a county jail. Like I told you from the beginning, no deals, no bargaining. I'm innocent. Say that you make the call. I don't give a shit. You got my answer. Yes, I do. I'll pass it along. You do that. Oh, Lewis. Tomorrow, I'm putting you on the stand. I'm ready. Oh, you better be. The defense calls Lewis Ross Roulet. I knocked. Uh, she looked through a side window and saw that it was me and opened the door. Then I walked past her toward the living room. What happened next? Something hit me from behind. I blacked out. I, I, I have no idea for how long. That all? When I woke up, uh, two guys were sitting on me, telling me not to move. I, uh, I couldn't anyway. I was... I was scared. But you had blood on your sweater. And on your left hand. Someone put it there because I didn't. You didn't strike Miss Campo with your left fist. No. Threatened to rape her. No. Threatened to kill no, her. No, I am not that guy. I... Do you have any idea what it's like to be accused of something like this? To sit there and listen to people tell lies about you, about your having done something this sick and depraved? Call you an animal? Talk about your sex life, humiliate you. Listen, I, I understand the process. I know I had to sit there and be, be quiet and wait my chance. But if guilty people have rights, then what about innocent people? I am innocent. I'm innocent, and I, I want this behind me. I have no further question, John. According to you, Miss Campo punched herself or she had someone she had never met violently and, and viciously beat her as a part of a setup all i know is that i didn't and this knife that you always carry how did she know she'd find it on you as part of the setup guess she couldn't could she i never take it out i never show it to anyone so she must have just found it in my pocket after she or whoever knocked me out isn't that right I would prefer if I ask the questions. Okay. Mr. Relay, I'd like you to take a, take a look at this photo. Tell me again, do you think Regina Campo would or could have done this to herself? I don't know who did it, but it wasn't me. Nobody deserves that to happen. What do you mean by deserves? Do you mean... Crimes of violence only come down to a woman getting what she deserves? I mean, no matter what she does or who she is, no woman deserves that. 
I have nothing further, Your Honor. Mr. Roulet, you are excused. Thank you. The defense rests, Your Honor. Before deciding to rest its case, the state would like to take the night, Your Honor. For what purpose? To consider a rebuttal witness. What witness is he talking about? I have no idea. Court will adjourn until 10 o'clock tomorrow. Uh, no, man, I'm off caffeine. All right. So is that the custody list? Yeah. Let me see if any of my no good clients are on there. Yeah, sure. Lord. Mitten's putting the cordless on. He's already in lockout. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's good. How'd I go with you? You serve Kerlin? Yes, I did. Okay. I'm going back to the courtroom. Stand by. This bullshit. I have nothing to do with this case. Subpoena to appear as a witness. You'll just have to wait and see. It's a legal document, Detective. Mr. Minton, does the state have any rebuttal? The state intends to call Dwayne Jeffrey Curlis as a rebuttal witness, Your Honor. Judge, who is this witness? And why wasn't I told about him until now? Bailiff, remove the jury. A fair question, Mr. Minton. Dwayne Corliss is a cooperating witness who spoke with Mr. Roulet in custody following his arrest. That's a lie. I didn't speak to anyone. I Quiet, Mr. Roulet. Mr. Howler, control your client. Good. Let me take it from here. Judge, I share my client's outrage. I, and how long has the state been sitting on this testimony? Mr. Corliss just came forward yesterday, Your Honor. Yesterday? <laughs> this is incredible. Do you want to go back and talk to him? Given the timing, I'd allow it. No. You know, thank you, though, Judge. I think we all know what this is. Mr. Minton's putting a jailhouse snitch on the stand. Everything he says will be a lie. That's groundless, Your Honor. I want my objection noted. Then I'm going to rule. He can testify. Call the jury in. May I ask one indulgence, Your Honor? May I step into the hallway and make a call to an investigator for whatever good it may do at this late date? Thank you, Your Honor. Come to the courthouse at exactly 10.15 with the printouts. Mr. Corliss, are you incarcerated at this time? Um, no, no, I'm just in the courtroom. <laughs> but you are currently being held in the jail ward at USC Hospital, correct? Yeah, since I got arrested. For burglary and drug possession. That's right. Now, do you know the defendant? Yeah. I met him in lockup. We was bust over from jail. Then we were together in the tank when we came for first appearances. Did you talk at that time? Yeah. Talked about how bad we need cigarettes. Anything else? Ah, uh, you know, what are you in for? Like that. And. Did he say what he was in for? He said, for giving a bitch exactly what she deserved. Those were his words. For giving a bitch exactly what she deserved. Now, 
Have I or anyone else promised you anything in exchange for your testimony today? Nope. Just the right thing to do. Thank you, Your Honor. How many times have you been arrested, Mr. Corliss? About seven times in L.A. A couple more in Phoenix, New York, if you want to count those. Yeah, so you know how the system works, yeah? I'll try to survive. Right. Does that sometimes mean ratting out fellow inmates? Your Honor, I object. Take a seat, Mr. Minton. I gave you leeway bringing this witness in. Thank you, Your Honor. But I'll rephrase. What I'm asking you is how many times have you snitched on a fellow inmate? This makes my fourth. This makes your fourth time, four times you've testified for the prosecution against a fellow inmate. Makes you a popular man, Mr. Corliss. Sounds like people just come up to you, tell you the crimes that they've committed so you can come in here and testify against them. People talk to me. I'm a friendly guy. You're a friendly guy. And you're saying you and my client were friends. Who's friendly? So he just said to you what you just told us and told the jury, that, that he gave a woman what she deserved. And then the two of you went back to talking about cigarettes? Not exactly. It's like he was bragging. He told me he did it before. He said the other time he killed the bitch. Got away with it then, he'd get away with it now. Mr. Hallam? I have no more questions, Your Honor. Redirect, Your Honor. What the hell is this? You tell me. What the hell did you say to this guy, huh? Nothing. This is a setup. You're doing this. How? How am I doing this? Huh? You say he was bragging. How? Well, like he told me the details of the other one that he killed. She was a dancer at some club. She had a sexy snake tattoo wrapped around her body. Did he say anything else? Mm, no. Well, snake girl stuff was it. How does he know this, Lois? Do you think I know? No, if you didn't tell him that shit, somebody did. And start thinking about who that could be. And I have no further questions, Your Honor. Any recross from the defense? A moment with my staff, Your Honor. Be quick. It's not here. Yeah. Okay, good. Now listen, you go now. Leave the building. Don't want anyone asking you questions, you got it? Okay. Right. Dwayne, you mind if I call you that? Sure, man. Wow, I'm the assistant. <laughs> You're a funny guy, DJ. DJ. Isn't that what they call you, uh, for example, down in Phoenix? Maybe. Well, my assistant, the one whose number you want, she was reading on the, uh, on the internet about a DJ Corliss arrested in 1989 on drug charges, hometown of Mesa, Arizona. Oh, yeah, that'd be me. You remember but, Fred uh, Bentley, right? Uh, Your Honor, where is the defense going with this? Make a connection soon, Mr. Hallow. But the witness will answer. I don't remember any Bentley. Sure you do. You testified that he confessed to you the crime that he was charged with, raping a 10-year-old girl. But he denied it in court. Are ringing any bells, DJ? Mm, 1989, I was high a lot. I don't know how much I recall. Then I'd like you to read this for us. Your Honor, this is a news report from the Arizona Star, 1997. Eight years after Mr. Bentley was convicted, I ask that it be admitted into evidence. Your Honor, a news report? Let's see where it takes us. Let's take an object later. Thank you, Your Honor. If you could read this for us, Mr. Corliss, I've highlighted the part I'd like for you to I'm read. I'm not good at reading. That's okay. You can take your time. We'll make it through. A man 
Frederick Bentley, wrongly convicted of rape, was released Saturday after conclusive DNA results cleared him of the crime. The case was bolstered at trial by testimony from an informant, DJ Corliss from Mesa, who claimed Bentley bragged to him about the rape while together in the holding cell. That's enough. Thank you, Mr. Corliss. Were you charged with perjury in this incident, DJ? No, I was not. Is that because the prosecution was complicit in your confession? Judge! Were you promised the same thing here, Mr. Corliss? To say that Louis Roulet bragged to you in the holding cell. I mean, isn't that what happened? You lied then, you right, lied Hallard. now. All right, Mr. Howard, that, that will will do. Objection, that Your will Honor. Do. Sorry, Your Honor. I have no more questions. I'm excusing the jury for an early lunch. Bailiff, see them out. Mr. Minton, do you know what you have done? You put a documented liar on the stand. A man with a record of putting innocent people in prison. Your Honor. Shut the hell up when I'm talking to you. I can think of nothing more prejudicial or corrupt than what I just saw out there. Do you realize what you've done to my trial? going to talk to his boss to decide what they want to do before the judge comes down with a directed verdict. What's a directed verdict? It's where the judge takes the case from the jury's hands, declares an acquittal. Oh, my God. We'll know more in a few minutes. No. I want to know how Corliss got that shit he's saying. Maybe Frank Levin told him. Maybe he found something and gave it to Corliss, and that's why you killed him. <laughs> Court's back in session. Your Honor, I spoke with the district attorney. The state wishes to dismiss all charges. You have the motion in front of you. This is a motion to dismiss with prejudice. Case closed. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Roulet, you're free to go. Court's adjourned. Mr. Haller, thank you so much for my son. You're welcome. You were splendid. Thank you. I want the gun. Of course you do. I want to talk. Mr. Haller, mm -hmm. I insist you join us for dinner tonight for a celebration. I don't think so. Louis Relay, you're under arrest. What do you think you're doing? Quiet. Head behind your back. What's the charge? He's under arrest for the murder of Donna Renteria. Everything that man said was a lie. You have the right to remain silent. You have the right to have an attorney present during questioning. If you give up that right, anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. Do you understand your rights as I've read them to you? Hey, look at me. Do you understand your rights? Detective, can I have a word with him? Well, that's it, Lewis. I got you off. Time to find yourself a new lawyer. I've still got your gun. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna have to explain how you got it. Thank you, Detective. Come on, Lewis. Not a word. You get my kid out of jail. Heller, you are one messed up son of a bitch. First you get your client off for assault, only to burn him for murder. You don't have enough to charge him with the rent and murder, do you? Yeah. They've got enough to screw with him. There's no way the DA was letting Roulet walk out of here, not after what just happened. 
I don't get you, Haller. Whose side are you on, anyway? Starbucks, look, I stepped away for half of it, all right? All right, all right, all right. Take the ticket out of my pay, all right? You don't make enough. This one's on me. Let's roll. All right. <sighs> all right, let's go to the house, Earl. Hey, boss. Mm-hmm. You know that, uh, favor you asked me? God, I know he picked it up on the street. Real clean. Careful, all right? Yes, sir. It's me. I tried you on your cell. I, I'm sorry to interrupt your day with Haley, but you asked me to dig on Roulette. Remember? You said you didn't buy it, that all he had was parking tickets. Well, I might have found Martina. Maggie, I got it. Uh -huh. I think I know why Frank Clinton got killed. Yeah? All right, call Lankford. Have him pull up Roulette's driving record. Every ticket he ever got. All right, that's what Frank did. He said he found Martinez's his ticket out of the queue. I, I just never knew what he meant. Okay, it's done, but I have to tell you something. They let Roulette go. Mm-hmm. They didn't have enough to hold him. You were right. I guess the family got involved. Maggie, is Haley with you? She's at my sister's. Why? Go to your sister's, stay with Haley, and wait for my call. You got it? Okay. Val, it's Mick Haller. Oh, hey, Mick. I haven't heard from you since you busted into my office and accused me of conspiracy to commit murder, huh? You know, if I had any self-respect, I'd hang up on you right now. It, it was Frank dying, all right? I was out of my head. I need you to do me a favor. Oh, yeah, you need a favor, OK? You, you know, you know, you got you got more balls than a Chinese ping-pong tournament, OK? I'll give you that. Uh, listen, man, you can kick my ass later, all right? It's important. Is Rulé still wearing the tracer? Yeah, 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 he is. I, I got a call. He's coming in the morning. Get it off. Guess they kicked him, huh? Yeah, I need you to track him for me. Ah, oh, man, I can't, I can't. I got a little bitty coming in a few minutes. Val, Val, stop whatever you're doing. I need it, man. I need you to do it now. It's about my family. <laughs> yeah. It's me. He's headed up north on San Fernando. Mick, Mick, I think he's headed for your house. You want me to call the cops for you? Bullshit. I'm telling you, he just passed Dodger Stadium. No, 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 no. He's not going to my house, Val. Oh, hey, 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 hey. You're right, you're right. He just shot past the street. He's not headed for your house. Uh, I know where he's going. Hello. Well, you're welcome. No, it's all right. Don't worry about it.
hello to Lewis. My family's here. I know. You bring your knife? My gun? Maybe. Good. Because I brought this. You got one chance to turn around and leave. And then what? You gonna keep coming back every night? Every day? Or just try to get me sent up to San Quentin like Jesus Martinez? No. I'm not quitting until Martinez is free and you're convicted of murder. And when that needle goes in your arm, that will be me. Well, why don't you just shoot me right now? I don't think I'll have to. Hey! That's my car! What are you doing? Renteria's apartment on the night that she was murdered. It's all gonna be on the DA's desk in the morning. Where are you? Just about home. So what do you say I come pick up you and Haley at your sister's place in an hour and we go out for a nice dinner, huh? Great. Yeah. See you in an hour. Breaking and entering, huh? Just like your son. You knew, Mr. Haller. Can you get the hell out of my house, Mrs. Windsor? You knew. You set him up. The only person who was set up here was me. And how'd that turn out for you? You have no idea who we are. I know that your son, Lewis, is going down for the murder of Donna Renteria. I also know that I'm going to burn his ass for killing my friend, Frank Levin. He didn't kill him. Yes, he did. He beat the tracer and he killed him. Look, I'm not going to talk about it with you. Now, for the last time, get the hell out of my house. You're not listening to me. No, you're not listening to me. Mr. Lindsay, get the hell out of my house. I told you my son didn't kill Frank Levin. I did. <laughs> I told you to be careful, man. Yeah, it's not. Nobody till somebody shoots you. Hey, boss. Feel night? Yeah, Earl. Solid. Yeah, I heard down at the courthouse uh, Martinez is out. Is that right? Yeah, it is. And Roulette, they going for the death penalty on him? Martinez is free. Boss, we 
got company. Yeah, I see that. Pull over up here to the left. Say hello. What do you say, Eddie? Took one for the team, huh? Yeah. Really shoot your clients, mother? Damn right I did. She shot me first. <laughs> well, glad you're better. Because uh, my boy Harold, old hard case. Don't tell me. Yeah, he got caught with 50 kilos in his girlfriend's minivan. Girlfriend's some cop's wife. That doesn't help. Nope. You're the only help he's got, counselor. All right, call me with the details. Gotta say, though, the way things went down, I think we earned a little discount. Say, half your fee. Tell you what, Eddie. How about I do this one for free? Sure you're feeling all right? Repeat customers, Earl. Stick it to them next time. Because we're falling. 